Good afternoon, morning, evening, wherever you're from. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we got a package from Dr. Z's. Been waiting all three weeks now. Very patiently, I might add. So let's see what we got. All right, so let's see what we got here. We have the Octa brand board is the ESP32. And then this should be the heavy current. It is power board for the Octa. Some assembly required. Let's, uh, let's check it out. This was like a hundred bucks with shipping. And uh, what these things do is these replace all of my little home-built controllers here. Don't get me wrong. These are little, uh, I think these are high goes, high let goes. Let's see what this is. At the... Yeah, high let go. High let go. Anyway. Used to use pin five coming up from the bottom. Uses a common ground. The ground connects into the the connector right here, and then that's your 12 volts. And then uh, I just use the uh, just the the USB as the the power for the board itself. You do not want to run your lights off of this um, off this plug. You will fry the board. You must run external power and use a common ground right there at that pin or else your board won't work and then and I, I have a, a half dozen of these that run uh run lights on my show i just recently when i say recently i mean very recently see that guy just hangs right there just very recently <clears throat> i bought a digit uno which i use for uh for my pumpkin and uh, then I got the uh, Digi Quad, which I use for my outside trim lights, my flagpole, and uh, some back trim. So this board here is supposed to have eight, eight power or eight uh, data outputs. And then this guy here will replace my other um, my other setup that I have. If you want to see, matter of fact, I'll take you out real quick. Don't mind the trash. So this is this is the wall. So basically, I've got, and it's a little bit of a mess here. Got a bank of batteries down here. And then I have this Wander solar charge controller that connects to solar panels that go outside. And then my entire show runs off of 5 volts, 12 volts right here. And then there's one of those ESP32 boards that my Digi Uno, uh, my Digi uh, Quattro is right there. Um, 
and I, I always get the <clears throat> when I order from from Dr. Z's or for when I order from Quinn Quindor, um, I, I always get the, uh, the the plug-in ones. That way, I don't have to worry about Wi-Fi issues or nothing like that. You can run the wire. They can run the Wi-Fi. <clears throat> I'm sorry. You can run the internet cables as long as you want out to out to where you're at outside or whatnot. Just make sure that they're, they're they stay waterproof because they don't come in cases. Anyway, so the power inverter runs the thing. The runs the the battery. So the entire show basically at the end of the whole thing runs off of solar. Okay. All right. Getting back to. Uh, Back to here, uh, regular. Oh. Yeah, small house doesn't afford me a whole lot of um, storage places. So back to our, back to our unboxing. Put just a little high let go back. These are great though. I run lights inside the house with them. They work great, no problems. So let's just open this guy up. So we come with an, a decently sized external antenna. Um, I always use the the Ethernet, but and then it comes with a whole bunch of. Uh, mounting and uh here's the risers that go on to the uh the power board we might put those on in this video this might be a different video anyway let's uh let's open this guy up and see what we got LEDs one, two, three, and four. The resistors are already built in, which is fantastic. Common ground, another ground, some data in pins. If you want to use a, a you know a select a, you know push button or whatever. There are three point three volts. I would imagine that's uh, either an input or an output. Um, let's see what else we have. Well, here's the reset button and the, the boot buttons right down here at the bottom. USB-C, it looks like, in here. Um, it's definitely ESP32. Run. Is there a, uh, oh yeah, look right there, a memory memory card slot it's labeled on the bottom too it is i just <clears throat> i love quindor stuff everything is such so detailed so this is um a quinn led board like i said this is the digi octa i can't wait to get this powered up <clears throat> everything is labeled super super nice like I said, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's just that simple. That's just data. Now you're asking, so where's the power come from? Well, that is this box. Let's uh set this off to the side here and we'll open that other box up. What else we got in here? Oh, it looks like a, a pretty detailed um, description of what everything does. 
and then uh, a little QR code on the on the back uh, if you want uh, some hints or whatnot. So, all right, that's that. I'll probably just leave this video un unedited here, just so you guys get it how I how I shot it. All right, let's uh, open up this. This thing's heavy too, and not that I need the high current board, but it was seven ten dollars more. And look at it. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. That is 120 amps of circuit of fuses. 120 amps. Who's going to run that? I just, I just want to open it. Can I just rip it? Nope. I got to cut it. All right, guys. I'll ASMR for you. If you just felt this in your hand, you would be like, wow. I mean, look at that. That's just... And I'm, I'm not going to say way too much. Because in my world, there's no such thing as over the top or way too much. And if you're in this hobby like I am, I don't think that there is an over the top. When it comes to what we do. So, thank you very, very much, Quindor, for, for, for your brain coming up with this. Look at all this power. So you got power coming in, major power, ground to ground. Look how big these are. Now to give you an idea, here's my finger. Look at that. The screws are as big as a, my fingertip. And these are the an automotive style fuses, not the mini ones. These are the, 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 not the maxi ones either, but these are the regular automotive style fuses. Look at this thing. It's so hard to read it too. Let me zoom in a little bit. That makes it easy. Look at that. Power board. And so, then what what this does is this guy sits like this. It gets you all zoomed in here so you can see what I see. This guy here. This guy sits. See the melting holes right there? Hole, hole. See, see. Right there. And then so this guy will just sit. Right there. And then that's what it looks like together. So since there's really nothing up under here to take off or whatever, I think I'm going to go ahead and put it together. So let's do that real quick. So we have two different size risers. We have a long one that's female threaded on both ends. And then we have a shorter one, which is a male on one end and a female on the other end. So first we'll just separate these off to the side. For my brain, separating all like parts makes it easier for me to assemble. I can do a couple of things this way. I can count the holes and make sure that 
without instructions, right? Um, then I kind of know maybe what goes where. Um, I do know, I do know that, that these screws have to go in here somewhere. So I'm thinking, I'm trusty. Trusty instructions um, will have failed me unless there's something in this box that is there's some just a bigger just a bigger diagram of what everything is. Very awesome though. You want to see if it works real quick? Let's just see if it works real quick. Um, Turn my turn my little power meter on here. Let's see. Make sure it's on. Okay. Now we'll turn it up to 12 volts. I don't know if y'all can see this up here. That's 12 points. So we'll do uh that 12.2 is probably okay. Okay, so this is gonna be in. I'm just going to go to um, my positive first. Oh, you guys can't see that. Let's see if you can see that. Okay. Positive first. And then ground it. All right. It came on. We're upside down. So let me turn it around. kind of odd that everything reads right side up one way but the actual meter is upside down I don't know if that's a quality control thing or if that's just how they intended it to happen so now the, the board's correct I might even flip that around just so it reads the way I want it to let's see here can that be done Yeah, probably. Probably. Because everything is in everything is up this way, and then and then the display is upside down. So let me just see if I can just real quick just grab me a little little snap on you know micro driver. Try to keep the screws in my hands, not on the delicate electronics. Sorry, Quindor, if this is not the way you intended the design to be, but for me, it is, in my brain, easier to read voltages the same direction as I'm reading everything else. So, just tighten this down here real quick. Give it another test here. Positive on positive, ground on ground. All right, now it looks like it's reading voltage correctly with the rest of the with the rest of the stuff. That's all. Just picky, maybe. All right, so let's see what we're gonna do. Are we gonna do screws? Let's see if this is the riser we wanna go this high up. Yeah, that's probably good. So let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So I guess we can do it any way we want. Um, I'm going to do, I want to do these. I, I like these better. So we're going to we'll just stick with, um, I'm 
trying to figure the best way to show you guys this. So I'm going to take just a screw, put it in my driver, and then I'll just kind of hold it through the back. Okay. Just going to stand it on its end. Oh, this lighting is terrible. There we go. And we'll just give it a little courtesy tighten down. And then we'll just do a test height and see if that's not too high. No, this is good. This is good. If I use the other one, then I have to put I don't there's no nuts. I use these. Oh, I just threw that. That was crazy. You see that? So I'm just gonna use those risers that way and get everything in there and everything will still be cool. So let's get this done real quick. I'll do the rest of them real fast. To go too fast. We don't want to be sloppy. Okay. Mark got this done. Got to excuse the noise in my background. Got one more of these to go, and then I can start putting in the top part. Now this power board here has 16, 16 power outlets, which means it can handle basically every single bit of all the power that I have in my entire show. There's the studs all in, all five. So now I will connect, set the board on top and it just sits there like that. What we do want to do is we want to not tighten all them down, but get them started, all of them, before we tighten any of them down all the way. And what that'll do for us is that'll prevent a fighting a misaligned screw later on. Pretty much as easy as this. And here it is, just roughly assembled. The Digi Octa board on the even stronger Quinn LED power board, the high current one. It looks like it puts out 120 amps or holds 120 amps. There's still some stuff in there. Might be in there forever. Let's set this down and see if we can get that out. Let's see what 
let's see here. Probably just what we just used. Yep. Yep, same. Same, same. Except these are longer. Huh. Options. Options, options, options. Oh, well, here's some shorter guys. Ooh, I like those. Those real short ones. And I might just leave it tall, tall like this. Although I do like those short ones. And then what's cool is that you can just, well, later on here. So these are the data outputs. So we've got um, data one through eight. So what we do is we just get these guys here. You put your wires in there. You know what I mean? That's it. <clears throat> I like this. Anyway, here's the rest of them. Here's your data. Oops, flip it around. That might help. There's the data. Yeah, I, I did it right with that. If I would have put them down too low, I would have been digging into there already. So this is the right height that I that I, I needed to go. And so this goes in here. That's it, <clears throat> the Digi Octa and the power board, done. You know, but now that I see that, I think Gwendor is right. I don't know, who knows? I might keep it like that and have all my, yeah, all my data going out to the top and then just have power, you know, power and stuff coming from the bottom. I might keep it like that. I like that. I like that. Anyway, I think that's about it. If, uh, if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. If, uh, if you don't like this video, or if you think I said something wrong, then shoot me a comment. Tell me what I did wrong. Tell me what I could do better. I'm only about a year and a half into this hobby. And I know there's a lot more of you that are a lot smarter than I am. So tell me what you think. Is this a good idea? Or should I go to the Falcon? No. I don't think I'm gonna do Falcon controllers. I'm a Quindor fan. So we'll just stick with uh with Quinn LED stuff. Look at this amazing product. I can't wait. Alright guys, that's it. Like and subscribe for more.